we have in our healthcare system in terms of providing support, care, is the love, compassion, and skill that each of you brings every day to the work that you do and what happens to you and the rights that you have and your ability to live a full life, not just as some kind of a slave who's told what to do and where to go, but somebody who actually has enough protection to have a home life and be able to provide love and compassion to their own families. These things are also fundamentally important. So Restore our rights. That is the main slogan for these frontline workers who gathered in front of Milton MPP Parm Gill's office Thursday as part of a series of rallies speaking out against Bill 195. The bill came into effect late July and replaces the provincial state of emergency that basically gave the government extra governing powers they normally wouldn't have otherwise, like spending, mobilizing forces, or suspending civil liberties. President of QP Ontario Fred Hahn says although the state of emergency ended, Bill 195 extended powers to the government that removes their access to their rights at work. So the, the emergency orders that were issued under the state of emergency allowed employers to ignore portions of collective agreements, things like work schedules and hours of work. People could be redeployed. We heard stories of this where hospital workers were being, re be, being redeployed into long-term care, where municipal workers were being redeployed from their regular jobs into shelters. People who worked for 20 years to get on the day shift can be told you're now working nights. Leaves have been cancelled. That includes parental leaves. People have been on parental leave because they've just had a child and they've been told we need you at work, you've got to come back. And we think that that is, well we know, it's unprecedented, it's undemocratic, it's absolutely unnecessary. And so we're here to say to Parm Gill and to MPPs across the province, you sat in the legislature and voted to take away workers' rights, we are not going to stand for that. Lori Kennedy works at Milton Hospital and is the president of the local QP branch 815. She says she feels this bill is like a slap in the face given the fact that they worked hard with the provincial government and sacrificed so much since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Because we've worked together since day one. We came into the hospital without knowing what this was when it first started. We didn't have any idea if it was airborne or not or everybody came to work and did what they had to do. And now I feel like we're just being held back when there isn't an outbreak right now. If there was an outbreak, everybody would do what we did in the beginning, come back to work and do what we had to do. So there wasn't a need to take these rights away. Our workers are strong, are committed, and have never given up on this. This was the first rally in Milton, but one of 30 rallies across the province so far. Hans says they are demanding that MPPs, including Parm Gill, represent everyone in this community. That includes people who work in hospitals and long-term care facilities, in the municipality, who do water, uh, wastewater treatment and public health, who work in congregate care settings, in developmental services and in shelters for women. All of these people have had their rights stripped of them and that's unacceptable. Doug Ford has said, frontline workers are heroes. We agree with him. We know that our members and many others have helped to keep our communities going through this crisis, but this is not the way you treat heroes. We are going to campaign until these rights are restored, and the solid foundation for this is the activism that you display in coming out today. Meanwhile, we reached out to MPP Parm Gill to get his response. He says, although he understands their concerns, this bill is in the best interest of all Ontarians. As we know, the, the current declaration of emergency has come to an end and the risk posed by COVID-19 is likely to be with us here for quite some time. Uh, I don't think that's secret to anybody and what Bill 195 does, it allows the government to chart a responsible path uh, to economic reopening and recovery without putting all of the progress we've made in fighting this virus at risk. So the leg legislation really provides us with the necessary flexibility to ensure select tools uh, remain in place to respond to this deadly virus and protect uh, you know the, the population in Ontario such as you know seniors and the ability for us to extend and amend orders uh, are limited to one year unless obviously extended by the legislature so uh, I think it's a responsible thing to do for a government uh, at the end of the day you know we, we we have to make sure that Ontarians are protected and um, all of the necessary precautions um, are, are, are are 
put in place to make sure that uh, we're able to limit the effects of COVID-19 um, to the extent that we can.